We're gonna fly one of the coolest jets you've probably ever seen, and we're gonna do something a little different in today's video. Something I've never done with this jet is put the GPS meter inside to see how fast it goes. So we're gonna have a blast, but also see where this thing tops out. GPS meter. It's <laughs> hump up a little bit. But it should be okay. Here we go, clear for takeoff. I haven't flown this in a long time, and I'm very excited. What a beautiful takeoff. <laughs> We'll put the retracts up on this pass, and we're gonna have a little bit of fun on this flight, Abby. <laughs> I wanna show everyone what this thing is made of. Okay, here we go. We'll put those retracts up in three, two, one. And there go the doors. <laughs> oh yeah. So cool sweet. how it's like two-stepped. Ah, I love flying this thing. Love it. Today has just been like a long day in the heat, getting stuff done, and what a way to end the day with one of my favorite jets ever. So right now I'm flying in something called safe mode where it helps keep the jet stable and level all on its own. But on this next pass, I'm going to take it out of safe mode. It actually, in my opinion, flies a lot better out of safe. There's out of safe so we can do maneuvers like this. Roll that jet. We'll maybe shoot for a nice big wide loop. Just gotta get out of the sun. That's what safe, safe comes in handy if we ever uh, get blinded by the sun like I just about did. Okay, we're gonna shoot for a loop, Abby. Are you ready? Yep. We're gonna climb it. This will be a huge wide loop. Just dominate the entire sky. There we go. And we'll keep going into another roll. And a roll this way. Now we're a little far away. It's been a little while since I've flown this, so it's really good that I'm just kind of flying it and knocking the rust off just a little bit on this beautiful evening. This is awesome. I've eased off on the throttle and I'm just coming in for a little low. Let him, let him hear it. Let's do <laughs> just a full throttle pass on this next flyby so you guys can hear this. Most people, when they first hear it, they don't think this is an electric jet. It, it sounds always real. surprises them. Here we go. Full throttle. And I banked it just a little early because of the sun, to be honest. sound is amazing. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do a couple more maneuvers then actually come in for a landing. I wanna see how fast this flight was. Then the next flight, what we're gonna do is focus completely on speed to see if we can make it go faster than just average flying. Let's go for a roll out here. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Awesome, this thing is so awesome. Abby, I think I could harrier this jet. <laughs> I'm going to drop that landing gear and we're gonna get ready for a landing, but I wanna make sure I see all three <laughs> wheels before I come in. Been it's, there, done that mistake. <laughs> it's rare, but sometimes they won't all come down. So before you do that, uh, accidentally coming in, let's see if we have three. We're looking one, two, three, that's right. All right. So we don't have much of a breeze either way, so I'm gonna land because the sun is to our backs. I'm gonna land on this end of the runway. Saving some battery, we're gonna see how fast we went, then on the next flight, rather than doing rolls and loops and that sort of thing, we're gonna focus completely on speed and see if we can make the jet go faster than whatever it went on this flight. So here we go. Just need to focus on a landing so we can get it back in one piece so we can have that second flight. This thing is so beautiful. Whew. Wow. A little, a little hot, a little hot, but it did come down in one solid piece, so Dude. I'm happy. We'll taxi it back in. Abby, I think this is one of those shots where maybe we don't want to cut away so we can see how fast it went, but I might not have a sharp enough turn. <laughs> how fast did it go without you really trying, right? I may have to walk down and pick this up. We'll see. It happens sometimes. We'll see. Am I going to get the grass? <laughs> I'm in the grass. Oh. <laughs> All right. Rescue mission complete. Let's see what we got. Oh, wow. It's faster than I thought. Wait, it's wow. upside down for me. We hit 
97 miles an hour. All I was right. not even trying. That's fast. <laughs> We're gonna put a fresh battery in and see if we can break 97 miles an hour. The goal for this flight is to see if we can beat 97 miles an hour. We've gotta break 100. I know we can do it. Save as much as we can for these full throttle passes. I'm gonna go ahead and Okay, sorry, camera malfunction. It just stopped recording, I don't know why. We're back on, all you missed was him turning. Here goes the retracks. I was about ready to land it. <laughs> okay, so that's not gonna be a full throttle pass. We just got the retracks up, but I'll tell you what we are gonna do. I'm turning safe off. We're gonna go into a climb and then dive down. I feel like the dive is going to help us, so let's go straight up, about as high as we can. We're gonna roll it over up here and then come out of this dive in full throttle fashion. Oh full my gosh, you are ground, so brave. Full throttle. Here we go. <laughs> wow. Definitely faster than any pass we've ever had in the past. <laughs> hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh my gosh, don't scare full me throttle. like I'm that. Still cooking it. And we're going to do that one more time, Abby. We're going to climb up here. That is so scary we're to full throttle it into the with ground. A roll. <laughs> fashionable. And we're going to roll it, let it fall, oh pull gosh. off that motor, full throttle pass, full throttle dive. Full throttle. That's got to be the peak wow. speed right there. That's got to be the peak speed. Bringing it in. Just for the sake of the sun, we're going to do that one more time out here. <laughs> we're doing everything we can. That's my time. Oh, you saying. cooked it. I cooked that battery. <laughs> we're going to do it one more time anyway, and then I've got to land it. Full throttle. Full throttle dive. It's all about that speed coming off the dive. So now, because we've cooked that battery, we did three dives to get that speed. I'm dropping the landing gear and we're gonna bring it in before we completely fry the battery and lose our jet. <laughs> this is one of my favorite EDFs to fly. The, it's just so scale and looks amazing. But when you hear it and you actually see it, it looks like a real jet. Let's see what we can do here, guys. A little fast. Fast. Okay. Oh my goodness, it like grabbed it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if you can see do if the turn. So I think my trim's a little messed up, so what I'm doing is There you go. Yeah, I should Wait. be able to taxi it back this time. It's turning sharper right than it is left right now. So I think come I need on. to recenter it. Go, 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 oh, go, go. Come on. <laughs> Walk of semi shame. <laughs> so Nate, what does it feel like to full throttle straight? to the ground. That's a little nerve wracking, but if you're not gonna commit, then what's the point in even doing it? <laughs> I think I was more scared than you were. Let's see where we're at. Oh yeah, we, we've definitely beat that by 20 miles an hour. We just hit 117 miles an hour. <laughs> the battery's so hot that it made my GPS meter smoking hot on the back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Almost hit 120 miles an hour with this jet. I knew it was fast. I didn't know it was that fast. And actually, I think this might be an EDF speed record for our channel. If it's not a record, it's got to be a tie or a close second place. It is very possible. It's hard to remember all the fast speed runs we've done, but I believe this just hit a speed record. That dive for an EDF. Now, we, believe it or not, have a prop plane that went a little bit faster, but as far as EDF jets go, I think we just hit a record. Now you guys may have noticed my shirt and there is a fun fly that they host, but right now they're also taking open registration for Camp AMA. It is, it looks like a blast. If I was a bit younger, I think I'd love to sign up and go to that. If I knew it existed when I was younger, you better believe I'd be there. I think the age is something like 13 to 18, but we'll have more information in the description box below. If you someday want to fly jets like me or even take it to the next level, Camp AMA is a great place to start and start your career when you're young. It's very exciting. They've got a whole week worth of fun planned and uh, maybe one of these days we'll have to show up and have some fun with everyone there. But it's linked below. And guys, this was a blast. I thank God for today and just getting out and flying and having success and not ending as a pancake in the asphalt. <laughs> so scared. I get to ring my jet home and I'm happy about that. So thanks to the big guy upstairs, but just for everything in our lives, I'm so grateful just for another day of life. Also, a massive thanks for our Patreon supporters. We could not do what we do without your amazing support. We've had some new people sign up lately, and I just want to thank everyone that's been with us for as many years as you have been, but also some of our new supporters as well. You really mean the world to us. Guys, if you're into jets, especially big, fun, awesome, cool jets, we'll have another amazing jet video popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.